सेशन अर्थवेक रिस्टर डिजाइन फिलॉसॉफी मायसेल चेतन जी कोनापुरे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वर्ल्ड इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर दिस इज द लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू डेमोस्ट्रेट द अर्थवेक रिस्टर्ट कंसेप्चुअल डिजाइन फीचर्स इन द स्ट्रक्चर डिजाइन फीचर्स वॉट आर द लेवल्स ऑफ गुड डिजाइन फीचर फर्स्ट इज द इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर और बिल्डिंग स्टेबिलिटी देन द गुड डिजाइन फीचर इज प्रॉपर प्रोपोशनिंग ऑफ द मेम्बर्स एंड प्रॉपर सिलेक्शन ऑफ द मटीरियल अब लेट सी द फर्स्ट इज द स्ट्रक्चरल इंटीग्रिटी नाउ ऑल द स्ट्रक्चरल एंड नॉन स्ट्रक्चर एलिमेंट शुड बी वेल कनेक्टेड सो दैट दे मस्ट बिहेव एज अ इंटीग्रल बिल्डिंग इंटीग्रल स्ट्रक्चर नो स्ट्रक्चर एलिमेंट मीन्स स्लैब विच इज शेयरिंग द लोड ट्रांसफरिंग टू द लोड टू द बीम बीम इज ट्रांसफरिंग द लोड एट द एंड थ्रू द कॉलम then columns are uh, transferring the load with a column beneath so this is uh, these are the structural elements non structural elements like uh, infill walls uh, plaster components then uh, parapet walls so the structural component means load sharing components or elements non structural elements which are not sharing the loads so both must be connected in a proper manner so that they must behave as a integral or uh, one uh, single box Uh, type action they must offer second is structural stability so in case of structural stability first requirement is structural path should be available for effective transfer of forces to the foundation structural path means as i explained in uh, integral uh, integrity concept the load of slab must be taken by the beam immediately load of beam must be transferred to the column beneath the column must transfer to the column beneath and the columns final or a uh, column at the plinth layer must transfer to the foundation the effective load transfer means the load is transfer must be transferred in a systematic way so that there should be a proper transfer of the load uh, so for a good load path diagram second is the local geological conditions must be critically studied for liquefaction settlement so major problem in earthquake is the differential settlement which will create or generate the additional moments at the beam column joints so that the differential moment uh, settlement shall be avoided for that purpose the soil must be studied geological condition must be critically studied and uh, one more uh, phenomena is there that is soil liquefaction so uh, the, the, in earthquake liquefaction of soil is possible so those so those uh, geological condition must be tested so that the liquefaction of soil can be avoided now next is the structural members in which the first point is the proportioning so strong column and weak beam it doesn't mean that the beam must be weak it actually means columns are stronger than the beams while designing or while proportioning the structural members especially in portal frames columns must be always stronger than beams second is large cantilever portions should be avoided now various times cantilevers are required cantilever uh, portions like uh, uh, galleries balconies sometimes porches also one end is fixed another end is free in which deformations are more deflections are more and in case of earthquake these deflections are magnified so deformation is the major problem in the earthquake excessive deformation that will uh, uh, strike the stability to the stability of the building so that large cantilever must be avoided next is the material what material we should select for the building structure now in case of earthquake whatever vibrations are induced those vibrations are to and fro vibration both direction so in that case uh, stresses uh, or nature of the stress will not be constant or same compressive zone may transfer into the tensile zone or tensile zone may be transfer into the compression zone so the members uh, stress reversible is possible so material must be used uh, which is, which must sustain the stress reversible Just, uh, generally in case of uh, brace beams of esrs the uh, stress reversal is possible or uh, we cannot say that the compression is always at top and tensile tension is at bottom so this uh, because of earthquake the tension may be at top and compression at bottom also and second is uh, it it must deform structure or material must deform deformations are expect accepted even expected also in the earthquake resistor design without deformation the energy cannot be dissipated but during the deformation 
there should not be any failure or the deformation must be ductile brittle type of failure brittle mode is not expected in the earthquake so material must deform without failure now let us see this is the basic theme of uh, this presentation you can see here the frame in first case you can see the plastic hinges are formed in the columns only okay now during vibration the inelastic deformation may occur at this plastic hinges mechanism may uh, form and the column may separate into pieces so this is also called as column sway mechanism whenever columns are sep uh, separated into pieces means uh, plastic hinges are formed first in the column so in that case column will fail and the story or floor which is supported by these columns will come down this is global type of failure so when beams and columns are designed which are having equal section or beams are stronger than the columns means columns are weaker than the beams the first plastic hinges will form into the columns column will fail first and failure of the column is the goal global failure for that uh, frame so into the story which is supported on that column will come down in the second figure or second part of this figure you can see here uh, columns are stronger than the beams in this design so in whenever the columns are stronger than the beam uh, beams plastic hinges are formed first in beams then after that the plastic hinges will form into the column at one location you can see here so these are the plastic hinges which are formed in the beams so beams are stronger in flexure as well as in deformation also deformation capacity of the beam is more so uh, large deformations are required to fail the beams and even when beams are failed so that much portion may fail which is called as the local failure of that frame uh, instead of column first beam must fail and beam failure is considered or known as local failure for that we must design our column stronger than the beams okay so this diagram also uh, give us desired frame behavior which is expected in the earthquake now after this entire discussion i will ask one question to you and that question is what type of failure is ensured by strong column weak beam design you pause the video and just write down the answer may you can explain that answer in a systematic manner also now answer for this is the type of failure by strong column weak beam is local failure why local failure because this approach of strong column weak beam will give us the desired frame action frame behavior in which uh, plastic hinges will form in the beams so that the, that failure of the beams will be called as local failure and that failure of the uh, of beams will be designated as the local failure for the frame also now next term or next uh, theme is the appropriate stiffness why appropriate stiffness uh, appropriate stiffness must not be more or even the, the lower stiffness that will be also dangerous in the earthquake appropriate stiffness why it is so so which will reduce or minimize the resonance effect resonance effect means the matching of frequency of earthquake and building or the structure if the frequency matches then the structure uh, uh, will not come at rest until and uh, unless an external efforts are uh, applied second is to achieve the functional requirement so appropriate stiffness means that if you provide higher sections for the beam probably your height of the building will reduce if you provide very high, higher sections for the columns your carpet area of the building may restrict so that uh, proper or appropriate stiffness will uh, give us a proper functional requirement also third third is the control of deformations stiffness is required for the controlling deformation not to restrict the deformation okay deformations are expected uh, accepted in the earthquake but those deformations must be controlled that is only possible by appropriate stiffness and fourth is to influence the failure modes now what failure mode means the structure must behave ductile and failure mode of the structure must be ductile also so to influence that appropriate stiffness is required higher stiffness will attract more forces so that failure may be brittle failure so appropriate stiffness may uh, give you the ductile type of failure now this is uh, one comparison 
again uh, for the flexible structure and stiff structure so this is also called as a stiffness versus flexibility uh, approach now advantages are also listed and the disadvantages are also listed you can see here flexible structure so it is suitable for short period and uh, disadvantages the for long period these are very uh, give, give, giving higher response second is ductility is easier to achieve and uh, flexible structures are more amenable to analyze the disadvantages are flexible structures are difficult to reinforce I mean if you want to make the flexible structure flexible sections are small and reinforcement uh, providing of reinforcement is very difficult and uh, in case of stiff structure these are suitable for long period sites but uh, very higher response is expected on short period sites now whatever lacunas are there in the flexible structure disadvantage these are uh, actually advantages in case of case of stiff structures which you can see here now in case of stiff, uh, stiff structures easier to reinforce stiff reinforced concrete walls means uh, stiff structure means generally basically building with shear walls uh, reinforcement is uh, quite simple in the shear walls but uh, appropriate ductility is not easy to achieve in case of stiff structures and last is non structural remains are easier to detail means other structural remains non structural remains uh, their diagrams their detailing is very simple and stiff structures are less amenable to analysis this is the reference for this uh, video thank you